Hey y'all, hey, it's time for Saturday Suds. Man, I hope y'all are enjoying your weekend. Um, I know I'm enjoying mine. I've got a beer for you today from the Blackberry Farm Brewing Company. Uh, and this bad boy here. I saw this, I had to get it. From the Blackberry Farm Brewing Company, classic Belgian style ale, 6.3% ABV. And uh, I, I reviewed this, I don't know, two or three months back. I found it in a can uh, at Kroger. It's the cork going to pop. And uh, I saw this and I said, man, this is good stuff. I got to try it. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. <laughs> then I got a little shook up on the way down here. I'm out here in my backyard. I'm about in my back. I got about four acres here in Bell Buckle, and I ain't got no farmland or nothing. It's just kind of grown up woods back this way, and and uh, I'm out here. Got a little shade tree, and my son keeps this mode back here and looks real nice. It's kind of private, kind of just cool little area. Anyway, so uh, this this Belgian style saison features European noble hops, authentic Belgian saison yeast and the finest European two-row malt. Tucked away on Blackberry Farms 9200 acre estate in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains, Blackberry Farm Brewery products or oh, produces classic old world style beers, all artisan crafted and bottled conditioned right here in East Tennessee. Farm roots run deep. So this is uh, actually located in uh, Wallen, Tennessee. So this is actually a Tennessee brew and classic Belgian style ale. Alright, so check this out here. I found this in a can in Kroger and I really, really enjoyed it. Mm. And it's got that it's got that yeasty bready type flavor in the head. Mm. Big look they big old coarse bubbles there. I don't know if you can see them. Big old coarse bubbles. Mmm. The head's delicious. Mmm. Ah, man. It's a little bit hazy. I mean, it's not a not a clear beer. It's a little bit hazy, a little bit turbid. Um. I can see a little bit of sediment looks like floating around in it, a little bit, but it's a pretty color. Pretty, pretty color. Alright, mm. this uh, classic Belgian style ale is for all American workers. Hey, I hope y'all are enjoying your weekend. Y'all deserve a good weekend. Uh, you work hard to provide for yourselves and your families, and, and I appreciate it. Just want you to know that I appreciate you. Uh, whatever you do for, to make a living. Your work is important and you are essential um, and we all need each other and I just want y'all to know that I appreciate you. This uh, classic Belgian style ale is for you, the American worker. Uh, mm. Okay, so I got I got a, a, a little hint of the yeasty bready in the, in the head. The body just, just teeny tiny bit of that that flavor but I mean for the most part it tastes like a, a classic it tastes just like a classic ale what you would think a classic ale tastes like that's what it tastes like just mm. oh man that is, is just so good I can't mm. so it you know it said it was it they use uh uh, they produce classic old world style beers all artisan crafted and, and you can tell it man I mean they, they put some they put some labor and some love into making this brew because I mean it comes out in the flavor you can taste it just a, a very very pleasant flavor mm. 
it's got just a hint of bitterness. It doesn't really say the IBUs on here, um, but just a hint of bitterness. Um, very, very light, very smooth, even flavored, very, very good. Mm. Well, let's get some more off in there. Oh, look at that. I <laughs> love it. Uh, it is a thing of beauty. Alright, y'all. So, I know that not everybody appreciates beer. And, it, you know, that, to each his own. I mean, that's, that's the way it is. Uh, I happen to enjoy trying different kinds of beers and just enjoying them and, and you know just expanding my horizons a little bit uh, on the different flavors and you know appreciating you know the, the color what it looks like you know the beauty of the, the liquid itself the head you know the the heads are a lot of people don't like head on beer and I used to didn't I used to was like nah, I don't want no head on my beer well you know since learning about beers you want a head on it, man. You experience there, there. You experience a different flavor, a different aroma. If you have head on a beer, if you if you pour it without a head, you miss that experience of what that head tastes like because the flavor is different from the brew itself. I, I, in my experience, it's always been different. Oh, uh, some. Uh, most most of the time, it's it's been a, a pleasant experience. Now, sometimes I've had. Uh, the head on a beer would not be as good as the brew itself, but most of the time it's it's you know just as good, if not better. Um, and really, the aromas of your beer, if you have a head on it, really come through. I've had beers that didn't have; I couldn't smell anything from the head. Others, man, you can just really tell something about how the brew is going to taste by the aroma of the head. Um, and if you pour it without a head, you don't get that aroma. So, I mean, just learning different things about it and, and how to appreciate beer. But this is good stuff right here. I'm telling you. Uh, just very easy. Very easy. Just that hint of bitterness. The, 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 the classic flavor, the hint of yeast and bread, just a hint of it. I mean, it's not overbearing, even smooth, just a very, very delicious brew. Um, now, I, I've had an, a, a, another one called Fence Line from Blackberry Brewing Company. It was delicious as well. Now, they didn't have it in a bottle, or I'd have got it too. Um, my little brother had a different one. And he didn't care too much for it, but you know, I, I, you can't really judge a beer by what somebody else thinks about it. And you know that I don't know. People have different tastes, but I, I've, I've noticed that you know I see beer reviews, and you know I'll try a beer I've seen in a beer review, and you know my my take is different when I try it. And then of course I've seen I've done some beer reviews, and I see other people. You know, review the beer that I've done, and and their taste is different. They may not like it as much, or whatever. I, you know, because we all have different tastes. And I just, you know, I just I'm a dumb old redneck from here in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. You know, I just you know I just enjoy trying beers and enjoying different beers, and uh, you know, value other people's opinions as well. Man, I like to I like to watch other people's reviews, see what they think about beer. Um, I learn something from them. Hey, we can all learn something from each other. I don't know if y'all learn much from me. I'm just a dumbass, but <laughs> I know what I like, you know. Anyway, this is very, very good brew, man. It's pretty. Uh, it's aromatic. It's just very, very tasty. <laughs> hmm. And I'm wasting too much of that gum spilling out on the table. Mm. 
Mm. And see, the, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it's just got that hint of bitterness, that bready flavor, but also got just a hint of a floral, just a hint of a floral uh, flavor in, in that in that taste. And this stuff is just good. I mean, it is just delicious. And it's a big bottle and everything, but gum, it, it is just really, really good. And, you know, it's a Tennessee brew, so that's, that's a plus too. <laughs> Proud of my state. I was born and raised in Tennessee. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I was born in Memphis, the home of the king of rock and roll. I've lived in Nashville, Knoxville, and, and all points in between. You know, traveled all over Tennessee and, and hadn't traveled out of it very much. You know, I'm just a, just a Tennessee boy. Um, but I'm proud of my state. You know, I like to, I like to uh, promote my state, you know, however I can. Um, Y'all need to come to Bell Buckle sometime. <laughs> come see me, we'll share a brew and make a video or two. <laughs> Bring a six pack of something with you. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. That's enough. That's Saturday Suds. Went on a little bit too long, but I still got some brew to finish here. So, hey, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. If y'all like the videos, there's a little beer mug right here inside my water bottle. Get that out of there. <laughs> a little beer mug right there. Y'all can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Trying a different brew, you know, let you know what I think about it, and uh, just a salute an American worker, letting them know that I appreciate them because we all need each other, y'all. Uh, y'all remember DR, DD, and D, E I M, B G S, and L E A. Drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, everything in moderation. Be goofy sometimes, but, and love everybody always. I just love and appreciate everybody you come in contact with. It's not always easy. It's not always easy to do that, man. Some people are just buttholes. But, you know, we have it within ourselves to make the decision to love and appreciate everybody we come in contact with. Regardless of how they treat us, uh, we can always take the high ground. And that's what we need to do. Um, we need to have the fortitude to stand up and love everybody always because we're all dependent on one another here in America it doesn't matter you know what you what what they look like what you believe we all depend on each other when I go to the store I don't ask somebody what what their religious beliefs are I, I need a service from them they're there to provide it I give them mutual respect they do me the same that's the way we need to be with everybody all the time you know it doesn't matter when I, when I go to the bank, I don't ask the teller, you know, her political beliefs. It doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're there, you know, to have an interaction and be mutually respectful to each other in that interaction. And and that's what we need to do, y'all. I mean, we, we got to be that way. That's We're one country. And we've got to love and respect each other all the time. Uh, all right, ran over. I will see y'all next Wednesday uh, for Witcher Whistle Wednesday. I've got another Weihenstefaner to try for you. Don't know which one it's going to be. i got two more. Uh, they're in a big bottle, but not hardly this big. But I will see you then. Y'all take care and stay tuned.